Let's go now to a very important article from the Philadelphia Inquirer with Tim, the agent elder. Tim. So the Philadelphia Inquirer reports that there is a gunmaker in the Poconos who has a vision, an AR-15 for every American. Wow, who would that be? <laughs> Let's find out. Which, which uh, among all the gunmakers in the Poconos, which one has this vision, <laughs> AR-15 for every American? Wow, that's it's a, a, look quite, at that. a, quite an extensive, in-depth interview of this uh, gunmaker. Uh, wow, here's a, a photograph. Oh, there he is. Yes, <laughs> uh, Justin Moon, owner of Car Arms, talks in the retail shop of their corporate headquarters in Greeley, PA, on March 9th, 2018. So, it looks like the Philadelphia Inquirer uh, uh, interviewed a cook to him and, and uh, zoom in on that. Um, let me read the article out of Greeley, PA. An AR-15 semi-automatic rifle sits perched on a rack higher than all the other things that decorate Justin Moon's office in the Poconos. He built the rifle himself, and it rests above his diplomas from Harvard and the University of Miami and shelves jammed with thick economic textbooks and business guides. <laughs> Last week, he sat at a desk beneath it discussing a dead serious plan to make that black gun even more ubiquitous uh, in America. I mean, every American should really have an AR, Moon said. It's America's rifle. Uh, Moon, 47, is, the, is a son of the late Reverend Sung Myung Moon, founder of the controversial Unification Church in South Korea, but makes a living as a firearms manufacturer. Car Arms, which he founded in 1995, makes tens of thousands of pistols and rifles every, each year from facilities in Minnesota and Massachusetts, including a semi-automatic version of the Thompson submachine gun, the Tommy gun that mowed down Chicago gangsters in the 1920s. Moon canceled plans to build a plant in New York State where his headquarters were located after more restrictive gun control measures were passed there in 2013 that expanded bans on military-style weapons and limited magazine sizes. He looked to Pennsylvania, which he described as very gun-friendly. In 2015, local and state elected officials helped him cut the ribbon on his new headquarters and retail store in, in a 6,020—I'm sorry, 620-acre, not 6,000 yet, 620-acre industrial park he purchased off a, a winding road in Pike County. I think I share the values of many Pennsylvanians, Moon said. I fish, hunt, camp, you name it. Pennsylvania has a strong rural population with, a, with strong values. They love America. They love freedom. Mm. Last month, Moon's brother, Pastor Hyungjin Sean Moon, uh, brought worldwide attention to rural Pennsylvania when he encouraged couples to bring their AR-15s to a marriage blessing at his World Peace and Unification Sanctuary Church in Newfoundland, about 20 miles from Car Arms. The Bible references Christ ruling with a rod of iron, and Sean Moon believes that the rod is the AR-15, which is not made from iron. It says, <laughs> made from steel, which is, which is a, 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 a uh, ferrous it, metal, yes. It's a, well, it's a, iron is the base of metal. Yes, yes, it and is. And then a, it's added, I guess, carbonization. Yes, yes. Uh, but anyway, Philadelphia Inquirer is very liberal, so they had to get that dig in. <laughs> His reading of the book of Revelation and the rod of iron makes sense to me, said Justin Moon, a church member. Uh, next to his office is the Tommy Gun Warehouse, his retail store, where many of his brothers of followers came shopping before the marriage blessing. Moon stood in front of a wall of AR-15s, only a few of which bore the Greeley stamp. But soon, soon, when the adjoining manufacturing plant is fully fired up, Moon said he'll roll out a Thompson AR-15 priced just under $700 in larger numbers. He currently employs 25 people in the office, store, and web shop. I'm going to make a st standard AR-15 with my brand on it, he said. The AR-15 is the most popular rifle in America. It's the most common rifle in America. The NRA est estimates that 8 million Americans own an AR-15. Mm. It has also been used in five of the six deadliest mass shootings in the nation in the last six years, most recently in the Parkland, Florida massacre. Moon said he follows state and federal firearms laws but does not su support age restrictions, limitations on specific guns, or even bans on the bump stock, an attachment that uses a semi-automatic rifle's recoil to fi fire even faster, the reason why Stephen Paddock was able to kill so many people in Las Vegas last year. In fact, Moon believes the Founding Fathers intended the Second Amendment to evolve with the times that citizens should be, uh, be allowed to own any firearms they can literally carry in order to match the government's firepower. We should have the right to have the same arms uh, the military has as soldiers, he said. <clears throat> Moon donates to Canada's organizations and causes countrywide that support the Second Amendment, and his politics have no middle ground. It's no secret. I support the Republican Party. I'm a conservative. I'm not a liberal. Never pretended to be, he said. I would be, I would be one of the deplorables, clinging to gods and guns. Uh, that fits me pretty well. 
A Hillary Clinton bobblehead dressed in prison garb sits on a shelf in a, in a car arms meeting room <laughs> next to a bobblehead of the man to whom she lost. Moon, a, a married father of seven, came to the United States from South Korea when he was three, and although he embraces his heritage, the American dream is dearer to him. America is the greatest and freest nation on earth, and I hope it stays that way because I want my kids to grow up in a free nation with opportunity, he said. Koreans do well in America because they work hard and take advantage of opportunities. They don't go on welfare. Moon's hatred of communism and socialism have direct roots in North Korea, where his father was imprisoned in a labor camp for five years. Wow, isn't uh, there? Right five there. years. Uh, five, actually, it was two years and eight months. But anyway, uh, okay, we, we can round it up to five years. Uh, accused of being a spy for the South Korean government. Uh, socialism is basically making the whole country a prison, he said. In a prison, every, everyone is equal. They get the same cell, same food. They get the same health care, and only the government employees uh, have only the government employees have guns. Wow, that's a great statement. Uh, yes, that? that's a great. Statement. Good quotes here, yeah. Sun Myung Moon later became a self-professed messiah and started the Unification Church in 1954. Though it has been called a cult by its detractors, it considers Sean Moon's church a breakaway group. Uh, and Unification Church officials said last month that firearms play no part in its doctrine. While in Miami's uh, NBA program, Justin Moon drew up plans for a small, powerful pistol that became the Car K9. The prototype was an instant hit, Moon said, and he started producing the guns in 1995. According to a 2011 New York Daily News article, Car sold 5,000 K9s to the New York Police Department for off-duty use, though it later ordered its officers to stop carrying the gun because the trigger was too light. Pennsylvania is home to dozens of gun manufacturers, some of which make just a handful of guns, according to Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives statistics. One Northumberland County manufacturer specializing in smaller rifles made for younger shooters sold just over 49,000 firearms in 2016. Moon has purchased several other manufacturers over the years, combining many of them into the parent company Salo Inc. ATF statistics show Salo produced 40,274 pistols and 9,086 rifles in 2016. Those guns were made in Minnesota and Massachusetts, but production of AR-15s will soon ramp up in Greeley. They sell a lot and they manufacture a lot, said Edwin Graggart, a member of the Delaware Valley Democratic Club, which protested the Sanctuary Church's week-long festival last week, last month. Graggart lives in Milford, 14 miles from the Tamigan Warehouse, and he happens to have a master's degree and PhD in Korean and Japanese history. He knows the moons well. He said he believes Sean Moon's doctrine is dangerous and frets that his brother will be manufacturing AR-15s here in the Poconos. This glorification of assault rifles has no place here, Gregert said. These weapons are designed to shoot people. <laughs> After Moon returned to his office, two women shuffled past rows of handguns and glass cases in the Tommy Gun warehouse, stopping to grip models an employee recommended for personal protection. The women were surprised at how light some were described and described one as sexy. They live together in the Poconos, uh, and in the wake of recent nor'easters and subsequent power outages, they were troubled by reports of break-ins. One of the large TVs on a store wall was set to Infowars, a right-wing media outlet that peddles consp conspiracy theories. <laughs> we live alone in the woods, Eve Asensio 62 said. There's no one around, and it would take police 30 minutes to respond to something. Outside, Justin Moon's modified Jeep sat in these snow flurries, complete with a rooftop tent, propane tank, and spine board, capable of barreling through any zombie apocalypse <laughs> or whatever else he thinks is coming. Sean Moon has a Jeep just like it. That's the wrong uh, Jeep. What's that? That's, that's, not, that's not a Jeep. That's not the Jeep. What are they talking about? Uh, they the Tommy the Gun Warehouse. Uh, they don't... Oh, okay. okay. That's, don't that's, that's, a, that's a pickup truck. Yeah, that's that's somebody, not even a Jeep. Uh, well, they just... That's a, a photograph of the warehouse. Of the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, they don't have a photograph of the Jeep. Yeah. So anyway, that's the. Uh, was that the end of the article? That's the end of the I article. I was having yeah. too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Zero comments. You want to put in a comment? <laughs> what a great, what a great article. That was a fantastic <laughs> article, and uh, of course, you know, despite the leftist jabs that they yes. always want, a little spikes they want to put in. Um, <clears throat> well, they have to have fun too. That was a that was a good article. Yes, it and, is. Yeah, some good quotes. 